they scored more in the fourth 20. I, I, you know, we kind of were fouling, maybe a little late. Uh, I know Tamara played a lot of minutes and stuff like that. And she's usually the one that gets in the way. And, um, Ren was in foul trouble, so that kind of hurt us a little bit. But, I mean, you get a win, you got to take it, you know. Just kind of move forward. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I think that we did a pretty good job of, you know, even in the second half, too, you know, our press was kind of kind of getting them to play faster. It might have not, uh, you know, it might have not uh, got steals for us, but it, it made them play faster. And I thought it, it kind of helped us to kind of get back in the game. Uh, even though we were playing our regular press where we were kind of playing soft traps and stuff like that, I thought we did a pretty good job to, to get them to, to do that. And we came out to halftime knowing that, you know, the kids knew that we were going to have to kind of speed up the game a little bit uh, to try to get them to turn it over. And I thought it was did a pretty good job. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm looking at D-Rice. I said, we got 10 minutes left. And he said, no, we got it, Coach. We're going to I, and I, again, it's playing our basketball. You know, we talked about it before. You know, we got all kind of stuff on the board, what they do, and all that. And I guess I'm so old school. I don't. I mean, I I know what they do. You know, but it's what we do. You know, we got to make sure that we do what we need to do. And I thought it took us a while. I thought AB started the game really well. Six zero run right at the beginning, making some steals and kind of getting. And all of a sudden, we we kind of sat into being comfortable. And I like the beginning of the game. And you know, any team in our conference is going to fight back. You know, so I thought that was. You know, so, kind of some of the game back and forth. I, you know, you got to give them credit. They played hard and they, they did what they needed to do. And, you know, I guess the fourth quarter kind of changed the whole aspect of the game because we were able to score it a little bit and get to the free throw line. I think we only shot two free throws the first half and then we ended up shooting 26. So, I mean, we got 22 more. So that means we were more aggressive. Yes, you had a, you're a big part of getting to the free throw line. Is that, is you thinking that in a moment or at the end? Um, yes, sir. We talked about being more aggressive because, like you said, we only had shot two free throws in the first half. So when we more aggressive, we just flow better on offense and defense. Were you worried that, you know, going to Saturday, I mean, not look past 15, were you worried about that all season? Um, I wasn't so much worried, but you do have to take game by game instead of looking past each game. Like you said, every team going to come to play in conference. So you got to take it game by game. Well, you've been waiting for this time. I want to ask you a couple months ago. What, what, what happened today? I mean, you were just all over the place, passing, everything. Um, GB always talks about when your number gets called, be ready. So tonight was my night. I wanted to make sure I could hit the game on all aspects, defensively, offensively, um, and just bringing that spark, that energy that we needed. So where did the confidence come from today? I mean, it just seemed like you shot with confidence and you went forward. I think that confidence came from just getting my feet wet in practice. You know, practice correlates to the game. So getting comfortable with my shots, my free throws, getting steals, turning it up on defense, I think that really helped me. Defensively, getting that confidence like, okay, it's easy now. Like, I got it. Just calm my nerves and everything else. Speaking of confidence, Um, yes, sir. I feel like, like she said, everything started in practice. And when we have good practices, we have good games. And I feel like we just build confidence every day. Like a lot of us get in the gym and work on our games. So I feel like you just roll over to the game. You know, you know, she didn't get to play that much last year, you know, so you're kind of looking at her, you know, the lack of experience. She's got skill. She, she understands the game. She's got high IQ for the game. But you still got to put that together in, in, in game life, you know. And I thought that was the thing, I think, uh, when she came back uh, and started playing and you started kind of playing her more, I think uh, sometimes you got to kind of let the game come to you. And I think she was she was pushing. And she was getting out of our system a little bit, you know, and I was hard on her. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was extreme. I just wanted her to relax and, and just do what we needed, this team, what the team needed from her. 
and you saw it tonight. When she does that, she's going to be special for us. You know, and it's just, I mean, it's it's going to be experience. She's going to have ex good experience, bad experience, because she's just starting to really play in our system. You know, and I think she got all the tools that, that fits our system. And I think that's the thing. You know, and I love her basketball IQ. You know, it's two of the smartest kids on our team. They they understand the game and all that. And some, I think sometimes she was just trying to overthink it a little bit. Today she just played. I mean, I just saw the AB that I thought that we, you know that we recruited and that we could develop. And stuff. But yeah, it was, it was kind of fun to see her contribute, and especially early in the game. You know, it's like, well, she's not letting it come. No, she let it come to her, and I thought she did a great job offensively and defense. She had a complete game, and she's a heck of an offensive rebound. She can rebound the defensive side, but she's one of our best offensive rebounds. She's really, really aggressive in that, and it's good to see that. You know, because she did the last couple of practice, she really had. Some pretty good practice. I know she had a little neck, neck injury that she was kind of fighting. But, you know, she's tough. She's got through it. But yeah, it's good to see that uh, somebody that works so hard, you know, get the benefits from it from the hard work. You know, I think that's what we talk about a lot. You know, I, I think if we're going to win, it's going to take stops and defense and, you know, turning people over and getting them to play faster and, you know, just trying to play different ways. You know, of course, Sanders is in charge of the defense, and she, she's pretty tough on him. You know, she, she's very demanding, and that's what we, you know, that's what I love about her. You know, it's like me and Coach Deacon can kind of sit back and just let her do her thing. And I'm, I, I think the kids are buying into it. I think that's the consistency of our team. I think Kevin made a comment a while back that, wow, I mean, the defense might even be better than what we thought. You know, and I think it is. I think it's good. And the good thing about it is continuing to get better. You know, and you got to give a lot of credit to the. To the coaches, you know, they, they've done a great job of staying on track on how we develop and everybody. And, you know, our bench is getting strong. I thought Ash did a pretty good, Ash and Jones did a pretty good job tonight. You know, we ain't got in foul trouble. So everybody contributed, but I thought we played more of our basketball as the game went on. I think we realized, hey, we gotta, we gotta play what we do, you know. What they do, you know, it's good to know, but we gotta play how we play. It's a big game, but I feel like it's just a regular game. Like, we just got to prepare for it, go into it, play together, and be consistent. And really, like, it's about the pace of the game with them because I feel like they don't play defense for real. So, once we get the lead, we got to slow the game down and keep it and get stops first. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I feel like energy is very important in all aspects because, like, it folds over to everybody else. Like, my, I bring energy, AB bring energy, it builds other people. So I feel like energy is very important on both ends of the court. Yeah.